What's up, Wonder Kid? It's FIFA Expert, and today we're back with some more Giovanni da Silva. We're going to be following the match against Brazil and Argentina, a very big match in South America, probably the biggest rivalry in South America. But now, this match doesn't have all the big superstars like Neymar. Okay, it does have Neymar, but it doesn't have other big superstars like Messi, Lautaro, Martinez. It's just Giovanni da Silva and Neymar being the two big players in this match and probably Ederson too. It is an international friendly after all, there's not much on the line, it's just South American pride I guess. But Giovanni still decided to go, he, he was given the choice of whether or not he should be uh, playing but he said yeah, he said why not, why not just take a break from uh, playing for the club and just do something for his national team. I mean, he did win the World Cup with them, but he feels like he could probably make them win some more uh, important games like the one against Brazil. But the game does get underway. It's a lot more tighter than you would expect, but I feel like the first half was basically just Argentina getting loads of chances, just not being able to finish off those chances. Whether it be being tackled near the end of their attacks or just being, uh, being saved by Ederson. And of course, all of that would finally catch up to them as Anthony gets a bit of a lucky bounce and he does score near post against the Argentina goalkeeper who is not Martinez. Martinez is not in goal this time. I kind of forgot the name of the goalkeeper. If he makes a save, the name should pop up on the top of his head. But even if it does, I still don't think I'm going to be remembering it. But anyways, it's 1-0 to Brazil and Argentina are behind, but they are still being a bit more dominant in this game they're still just trying to take on some counter attacks just trying to make some good link up play here and there Giovanni just trying to dribble past his man so if things keep going the way they're going if Argentina keeps getting closer and closer they should get the goal that will equalize but in the 36th minute Brazil had another attack Anthony was running down the wings Probably ready to cross the ball in, but no, he decides to cut it back and uh, the goalkeeper Andrada makes the save. And Anthony sent through again, a bit, of, a bit of pinball going on there, but finally the ball is able to just get taken out by Giovanni da Silva. And just like that, Brazil are in the lead. Not very comfortable 1-0 lead heading into halftime. And uh, Giovanni da Silva definitely needs to do more for Argentina if they are to win this game. Brazil started off the second half on fire. Once more, a bit of good pressure gave them another attacking opportunity, but Andrada denied them again. And he threw the ball nice and perfectly to Giovanni da Silva's feet. He decided to run with it the whole way, in fact. Giving him so much space, probably not the smartest move from the Brazil back four. And uh, it could prove to be costly as he gives it a nice cut back to Gonzalo, but Gonzalo does kind of ruin the attack by putting one pass too many but Giovanni is running through the right wing once more this time he won't cut it back it's just a simple cross and Edison can't do much about that it's a point blank header and just like that in the 66th minute Argentina equalize it's been quite the interesting game Argentina being a bit more dominant here but I guess that's what you could call the Giovanni da Silva effect you know if Giovanni da Silva is playing for a team they're usually the team that is more dominant in the matches but yeah Argentina are now equal and they probably use the ones with the momentum but Neymar makes it on the wings a bit of trickery trying to get past this marker does not work out so well and now Giovanni da Silva tries his own piece of trickery getting past his marker getting past two players Running the ball past, getting past a third player as well. It's a good run from Giovanni da Silva. Now the question begs, would he cut back or would he cross? He would try to cut back. He would get tackled, but he gets the ball back, takes a shot from outside the box. And just like that, Argentina have taken the lead in such an important derby game. Probably not the best goal of his career but it's definitely the best goal of the night just a beautiful finish shot on his stronger left foot getting it just past Edison's arms there hitting it into the side netting that's probably the only way to beat Edison from long range Giovanni does a bit more trickery here 
he is just a, a dribbling demon and the only way to stop him from dribbling is to take him down and that's exactly what Brazil does. And now Giovanni da Silva has a free kick, he will be taking the free kick because Santos is not here. But yeah, Giovanni da Silva will be taking the free kick and it is going to be an opportunity for him in the 80th minute to seal the game. I'm gonna try to place it in that top iron corner with a bit of power, green timed but unfortunately Edison does save that. Although on the replay it does seem like uh, the ball was actually gonna go off target anyways. But you know what they say, better safe than sorry. And a corner comes in aiming for Giovanni da Silva, goes for the spectacular but unfortunately uh, that does not come off that well. He tries to flick it over Anthony but that also doesn't work. A long ball here for Giovanni, he is a bit gassed but with a bit of pressure he does get the ball back. And he's able to seal it, just put a knife in the dagger of the Brazil fans as if the result wasn't secure already. Now it was. Argentina, a very dominant Argentina coming back from 1-0 to win 3-1 and all thanks to Giovanni da Silva. Two goals, one assist. It's just another masterclass from the 20 year old winger who could win the Ballon d'Or but he does still have tight competition for that. The Ballon d'Or announcement will be made in the next episode though, if you guys are interested in that. At the end of the next episode, we will reveal who actually wins the Ballon d'Or between him, Santos and Mbappe. And just like that, Argentina wins it, 3-1, it's a good game and uh, this is uh, definitely something that's going to put Giovanni da Silva on form as he heads back to his uh, club duties with Barcelona. It's definitely gonna keep his morale high and it's definitely gonna make sure that uh, he plays really, really well. So now that the international games are out of the way, it's time to head back to some club football. But before we do that, we just gotta make sure that Giovanni da Silva is back on track with Barcelona. I mean, Bra Barcelona and Argentina use two different playstyles despite using the same formation but the playstyles are still different so Giovanni da Silva still needs to try to get used to uh, Barcelona once more just something to refresh himself and of course in this training drill you can just see the temp the tempo the the connection between Giovanni and uh, Diego Santos here these two are just probably the best duo in world football right now now this is the training session that was filmed just before the Borussia Dortmund game in the Champions League which is honestly a dead rubber game. It does not really matter how the Borussia Dortmund game ends. If Barcelona wins it, they're going to be confirming top spot. If they lose it, they will still be qualifying automatically because um, they did win their first four games. And if you win your first four group stage games in the Champions League, you're basically through. There's no way you're gonna bottle it from that position. But yeah. Before we do head into Dortmund game though, I still have to simulate a few of the La Liga games. And speaking of La Liga, Barcelona are also on form there. We're in control of La Liga as well. Barcelona could genuinely be going for the treble this season. But um, yeah, we're going to move past that. We're going to head into the Dortmund game. And as you can see from the group stage table, it, it basically doesn't matter. It does not matter because even top spot is actually confirmed now i just checked it yeah top spot is just confirmed even if we lose this game lose the next and dortmund wins the next two games they're not really gonna catch us so yeah Barcelona have just been very dominant in this group and this is a game that is basically a dead rubber so we're just gonna speed run past it i'm just gonna show you guys the goals and uh, this one here a long range goal again just I just love shooting from outside the box with Giovanni da Silva, especially with a finesse shot. It seems to almost always go in if you put just the right amount of power. And uh, yeah, it's 1-0 to Barcelona early on in the game. Doesn't it? Doing a very interesting celebration. A celebration that is inspired by Neymar. But um, yeah, it's just a good nice little fake shot stop and just to set up the, touch, to set up the ball there for the shot. Left foot once more and uh, Kobel cannot quite reach that ball. 1-0 Barcelona to a very strong Barcelona. Although, just before halftime, it's the same spot again, just this time it's in off the post. 
and this time the ball has a little bounce there so it's sort of kind of like a half volley type of shot and uh, Giovanni De Silva same celebration he means the same thing probably his new signature celebration if you guys want me to give him another celebration comment down below and uh, I will do so but um, yeah it's just another good quality long shot there just to put it in off the post chesting it down hitting it on the sort of kind of half body curling in in off the bar goalkeeper has no chance Giovanni Da Silva sent through once again by his best friend Diogo Santos and he will finish that every single day of the week maybe not every single day of the week if you do watch his gameplay attentively you will know that sometimes he does struggle in one-on-one -on -one situations when the pressure is not really on him he's just too relaxed in one-on-one -on -one situations when the team is winning but this time he decides to take it seriously he hits it into the top left hand corner and Kobold can't really do much there but that's not all in the 83rd minute gives in a nice cross to Memphis Depay it's an easy hitter for him the Dortmund team's just been dismantled by a very very strong and on form Barcelona team who people are thinking could win not only Champions League, not only La Liga, but could win a treble. But the only time will tell on how far Barcelona will go in those types of uh, in those endeavors. But um, yeah, it is now uh, Memphis Depay to score and probably put a knife into the hearts of Dortmund fans to make it 4-0. Uh, and just like that, the game ends. Giovanni De Silva getting himself a well-deserved hat trick and. Uh, Barcelona just proving once more that they are the team to beat in Europe. They're probably the best team in Europe right now and it's all thanks to Giovanni Da Silva and Diogo Santos. And ladies and gentlemen, this is where I will be ending the episode. But just before I log off, there is a stat sheet you, I want to show you guys. The third goal, that hat trick, is going to be proving very important in Giovanni Da Silva's career because that's why he scored the 50th goal of his career. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Consider subscribing if you want to. If you don't want to, just watch another video. Bye-bye.